What I'd like to do is to do some work on Microsoft Word with footnotes, do some word work on Excel, naming cells, and do some work on Access. I'll try and do all three of these, if I can. The first thing I've done is to go to Google, type in the word computer virus. This has taken me to Wikipedia and I've just grabbed the first two paragraphs on that. Now I'd like to set this up as a university piece of work and show you what exactly you should do in, in handing in a piece of work. I've copied this out and you can see there are hyperlinks here. I'm not interested in this first hyperlink so I've clicked on to it and I'm going with my right hand mouse and I'm going to click remove hyperlink. That's going to take me down to there and I'll delete this, delete that and delete that altogether. Right? No, not altogether. That's gone. Now let's come down to malware. I'm interested in malware. When I click on to it, if I want to follow the hyperlink I press control and click onto it. Here we are. It's taken me to malware. I'm just going to copy this down to there. Control C. I've copied it and go back to Word. Now, <coughs> I'll go to the end of the Word and then go to insert reference footnote the university likes end notes I'll go to insert I'm at the end of the piece there and I'll press control and V and there's my first end note let me go back again now I'd like to go to adware I'll go through it again control click. Now you can see I'm at Adware. Now one of the reasons the university isn't too thrilled about people using Wikipedia is because this, this article needs additional citation for verification. Okay, so you not, might need to think about which site you're going to to get material. But I'm going to take this from here I'm going to copy it, control C. I'm going to go back to Word. Go to the end of the Word. Insert. Reference. Footnote. Endnote. Insert. And here am I at the underneath my previous endnote. Control and V. And I'm there. Now when you look at this piece of work, when I look at it, I see here floppy disk. Floppy disks are no not longer in use, so I'm going to take that out altogether. <coughs> you might look at this work and say, hey, this is a bit big. What I've done is to highlight all of the, the text. The text originally, when I put it in, came in at size Twelve. There it is there. But that's quite difficult to read and for, for the purposes of this display I made it bigger by going to control and square bracket and made it, making it up to twenty. You can see the, the size moving up there. Okay, so far so good. Now I'd like a title on this. There's my title, Computer Viruses. I'd like a different font there. I like Papyrus. And I'll put my name under there. OK, so far so good. The next thing about a piece of university work is that you should 
make it one half line spaces. So I'll go up to there, go up to Format, Paragraph, down to Line Spaces and make it 1.5. Now if I go up now, there it is. It would be useful if you could insert no, if you could go to view and down to header and footer and put in your subject your name so that they came out on every page and then with the header and footer down to the bottom of the page and put in the page number one of how many pages? one of three pages or you might just put one but I put one of the number of pages close that and so now I've got the subject you're working on at university your name at university and then the page numbers those are quite helpful OK, so that's the first piece of work. I'd like now to look here <coughs> and I'm going to go onto a piece of Excel. Now here's what I'm looking for. I'm going to try and work out what these people have earned in pay, national insurance, tax and take-home pay. I'm trying to do quite a complex sum here so in order to make it easier what I'm going to do is to go for naming cells. Now how do I name cells? What I do is I highlight the two of them there, I go up to insert and name and create the name. I'm saying the left hand column there will now be the name for this. Now when I click off and go back to it you see there 37 standard hours. If I click here of course nothing. So perhaps I could go down there and name the rest of them. Insert name, create, left column. Now let's look what we've got. Wage rate, overtime rate, national insurance, tax rate. OK, <coughs> so let's go down now to the pay. I want to do this with if so I'll go up to functions here and double click on if I'll pull that down to there so that we can see it and what am I saying if that is greater than or equal to that which is standard hours just incidentally, greater than is this. OK, what's the value of true? Open brackets. He gets 37 times 750. Close brackets. But he's worked 38 hours. So he's got some more. So he's got plus, open bracket, 38 minus standard hours close bracket times open bracket wage rate times overtime rate close brackets and we can see that we've got this amount here 
Now if you're not sure what I just did, here it is up here. I went on this line. Standard hours times wage rate plus C14, which was the 38, minus 37 times wage rate times overtime rate which all added up to there. Now what's the value of force? The value of force is this one times wage rate. Well this isn't force. This is greater than that so it's the second line that applies. But in the next one this will be less than that and so it'll be that that'll apply and that'll be down there. Let's OK this and then drag this down. So you see 10 times 7.50 is £7.50. Now we can go on from here and say equals that times national insurance. And when I press enter that comes up with this figure. Now I can drag this figure down. Now if I work out the tax for him I can say equals pay rate times tax. When I press enter there's how much tax he's paying. And there's how much tax they're paying for each one of these. If I go to take home rate I get equals the pay minus national insurance minus tax. And when I get that I'm there. I could tackle this a different way. I could go equals that minus open bracket that plus that close bracket and I would get that. But if I came up to here and drag that down I'd get the same figure. So I can drag that down. That is how naming cells is useful because if I come back to here again and look at this whole formula this will be much different if I didn't have the words in there. I think more difficult. Let's move back now to here. So I've gone through Microsoft Word, I've done Excel naming cells and now I'd like to go to Access Building. So if I go on to access, let's see if I've got it, here we are, I think, no, 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 access, let's go to here, and if I click on to access, there's access there, and I'm going to go to there, Now let's have a look. What I've got is a dashboard here. Here this will take me into the student assignment forms showing the topics. Here's Mr. Jack Barnett 21. He was working on a digital watch and that was the chop topic chosen. Alright, if I press close we're back to here. Now I've got a dashboard form, a dashboard button here. If I press close dashboard this will take me back into my my um, access form, access design database and what I want to go into is a macro seems to have a macro there but I'm going to delete that. 
Now let's go into new and I want to create a <coughs> excuse me. I want to create a macro that will open the dashboard and take me every time I open um, access onto that dashboard. So I'm going to go to open form. When I click on to open form in this action, I can come down here and look for dashboard form. Now there's only one other thing that I want to happen and that is when I come into this form I want it to maximize it. Okay. Now I should save this action that I've just done and here it's a macro but I want to call it auto exec meaning automatically execute. Now if I run this macro but let's close this and see there it is if I run it it'll take me automatically into here. Okay <coughs> there's my dashboard we can see that when I run the automatically execute it'll open up the dashboard. One other thing I did I created a new button form operations close form next the form I wanted to close was dashboard next now this command here close dashboard button that's telling me that I already created a, a, a button before and I can't do it again or I shouldn't do it again let me save this and I could go to here so now I could, I've got my student assignment button close act access all together or just close the form okay let's go back to here I've gone to Microsoft Word I've gone to naming cells and I've done a little work on access let's go back now to here and